Let's talk about our weather pattern, what we're going to be dealing with over the next several days. We've got this stalled out front around the region, so really much of the region has at least chances for some scattered thunderstorms. We've got plenty of moisture in the atmosphere. The front gives us a little bit of lift, so that combination is why we at least have the scattered thunderstorm chances. The closer we are to the front, well, that's going to increase our chance of seeing potentially more widespread rain and thunderstorms. So we're in that area of darker green where storms and rain a little more likely for us today through at least Tuesday. I think that front's going to be hanging around. So what you need to know is that we do have those thunderstorm chances, rain chances each day between now and Tuesday. Flash flooding is possible, especially if we get a complex of rain and thunderstorms to move through or if we get training of thunderstorms, one moving right behind the other, then we do have to watch for that. I think really the, the greater threat is going to be uh, those river levels going up. So we have to keep an eye on the rising river levels over the next several days because already we're very close to flood stage at many areas. As far as the rainfall potential between now and Tuesday, around two inches in Kansas City, so a pretty decent amount of rain. We've already picked up close to four inches on the month, so this would just add to it. Two to four inches, even upwards of five, definitely possible as you head to the south. So going down 49, going down 69, I-35, those are going to be the spots of the better potential. This area in red, including Ottawa, Paola, Butler, and Clinton, those are going to be the spots of the higher chance of seeing the heaviest of the rain over the next couple of days. Farther to the north, north of St. Joe, towards Maryville and Trenton, that's where the amounts are going to be a little bit lighter, at least that's how things are looking. Any shift in that front will shift where the heaviest of the rain will likely be. Right now, first alert radar, things in the immediate metro, the 435 loop, relatively calm and dry, but now pushing towards the Olathe, Overland Park, Gardner, we may start to see some of that light rain, light to moderate rain beginning to come down along I-35, a little heavier farther to the south. So as you go down 69 towards Lacine, Mound City, where that area of yellow is, that's where the rain is a little bit heavier. That is lifting towards the northeast, and then farther to the west, just some scattered showers across central Kansas. Lots of clouds for all of us, so it's a great start to our Saturday. Saturday. And let me show you a future scan. Unfortunately, those clouds are really not going anywhere. Lunchtime, still some of those scattered showers to deal with. A few rumbles of thunder heading through the afternoon into the early evening. Here's a look at 6 p.m. Now let's go through the rest of your evening. Scattered showers and thunderstorms overnight and Sunday morning. I still think we are going to be dealing with rain and thunderstorms. So unsettled weather as we head into tonight. Current temperatures, upper 60s to near 70 degrees for today. Lower 70s at 9 o'clock. Middle 70s at lunchtime. Upper 70s to near 80 for our highs today. Scattered thunderstorms heading through the afternoon. I think as far as the widespread rainstorms go, we'll see a decent chance late this evening into tonight, then again Sunday night into Monday. And then on Monday, another pretty decent chance of rain and storms. High temperatures near 80 degrees. Lows in the middle to upper 60s. Keep your fingers crossed, hopefully drying things out for the latter part of next week.